<laughs> yes guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're just going to be going through we're just going to jump straight into it with the first question if i pronounce your names wrong sorry forgive me first one here is by kahon karnidov i think that's how you pronounce it I'm not sure i know it might be a bit personal but how do you earn your money so at the moment i'm not earning really any money i've got a casual job that i do on a sunday so i do eight hours on a sunday just in a hotel so i work there at football i'm not getting paid like i was uh last year when i was playing for cardiff city because last year when i was playing for cardiff city i was getting paid every month as a scholar i had a two-year deal as a scholar i was getting paid every month to play there they provided living space but the living space was one of the reasons why i left and had to move back home so i'm now at another pro team but they don't unfortunately pay the academy it's just you're doing a college course alongside it which i still did at cardiff but they were paying you as well to play just because cardiff's that higher level up it's a bit unfortunate but i've got a part-time job at the moment and hopefully sometime in the future i can make some money even off of social media maybe but we'll see all right so next question by ben.molinelli on the screen here how did you learn to cook so this is a really good question basically when i learned to cook was about the start of 2020 what the real story is i wanted to lose weight because i used to be quite overweight and i was trying to work out all these different ways to lose weight, researching, is it exercise, is it food? And I think truly for myself, anyone can lose weight by eating the right foods. You still have to go to the gym, yes, but 80 to 90% of it is your diet and how you're eating. I learned to cook through trying to lose weight and then I just fell in love with cooking all my meals cooking everything for myself and just designing all the food and I find it's quite a therapeutic thing to do where you're just in the kitchen cooking and you make a nice meal and then you get to eat that and feel the satisfaction of eating that nice healthy delicious meal so that is where I learned to cook about 2020 the start of then and from then on I've just been cooking ever since cooking my own meals I love to go out to eat as well love a nice restaurant going out to eat so Wagamamas needs to sponsor me because I love Wagamamas. So this is by G underscore man dot XIV. What club are you currently playing for and are things going well just in general? So I forgot to also say that I've got kind of a blocked nose. So if that's why I'm sounding a bit nasally, <laughs> that's the reason. But basically I'm playing for Borenwood FC at the moment. They're in the National League, they're a pro side, but I'm playing in the academy there because I'm still 17. So I'm a second year in the academy, you train and you also do college. So I am doing a PT course in my college and then we also train. So that's who I'm currently playing for, Borenwood FC. Two more questions to go. This is by L Jackson 16. How do you keep going when motivation is low? This is a really good question. I get this a lot. How do you keep so disciplined? How do you keep going when you when you have no motivation? What's your motivation? How do you get motivation? Just all these different questions. And I truly think that motivation is a term that lots of people use as an excuse. I have no motivation. You have to be disciplined. And if you're not disciplined in anything you're doing in life, you're not gonna get anywhere. If you wanna get up at 4 a.m. in the morning to go train, go do work, go do whatever you love, you have to be disciplined to know what you're doing it for. You have to know your reason for why you're doing it. If you don't know your reason for why you're doing it, you won't be getting up at that time to go do that hard work. And when times are tough, when you're not feeling like you want to do it, you're not going to be wanting to get up at those early hours of the morning where you just want to lay in bed for the rest of the day. Or yes, some motivational videos might help you or motivation music might help you. But in the long run, you listen to them for about five minutes, you feel motivated maybe for the next hour or two, but after that, you're not motivated. You just lose that motivation. So that's where the discipline comes in and you have to be disciplined. So last question is actually a really good one as well by underscore brawny underscore 11. Do you ever thought about to play in another country or not? So do you ever think about playing in another country or not? I used to play in Australia, so I could go back to Australia if I want. I've got the passport. Um, I could go try for a pro team there. And my eyes in the next, within the next year to two, I could get a pro there. I know I'm good enough to get a pro in Australia. If I'm not signed by a pro team and I'm not a professional footballer by the age of 21, 22, then I will most likely go overseas in my personal opinion to go trial at one of these clubs and get in because I believe I'm going to be a professional footballer and 
that is something you have to believe in yourself because if you're not believing in yourself, no one will no one will think you're going to be a professional footballer, you're going to be a professional in whatever area of your life that you want to be. You have to believe in yourself and your own abilities first before anyone else can. And that's what I believe in. That is the five questions really for today. I hope you did get something out of it. And if you want, you can share this video with your friends, see what their opinions are on this video, as it really helps me out a lot. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.